You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. But it wasn't the girth that was the most expressive. Well, the lack of girth, really. Oh, hello. Oh, welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Girth. <laughs> girth. <laughs> Lots of girth. <laughs> Lots of girth. No, mm. la no lack of girth. No lack of girth. Oh, that's good. Girthy showbiz news. Okay. <laughs> that's all good. Do you, is that, do you want more? <laughs> that's literally it. Just yeah. Girthy showbiz girthy news. Girthy showbiz news. Oh, Lee's kid. stretched out for days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that. But on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The TV for our website and on YouTube or podcast services. Look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out and touched us on social media traverse along the bottom of the screen, we go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> You like food stories when I do food stories, don't you, Lee? Mm, yeah. Because we get we get to try some interesting things like cheeses mm. that I've made myself. Mm. Yeah, and, and dead things and mm. yeah. Well, we're talking about chicken nuggets. Okay. Oh, you're not going to do that. I'm story. not going to do that story. Don't worry. This is McDonald's releasing a, an interesting fact, right? But did you know that the chicken nuggets are actually shaped on purpose? It's like this weird pink paste. That they squeeze out. A mechanically reclaimed chicken. Yeah. But it's still chicken. Yeah. It's still chicken meat. No, I meant the actual shapes of the chicken nuggets. They purposefully shape them different ways. Oh, right. Okay. Right. And there are four different ways of having them shaped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have the bone, the bell, the ball, and the boot. Okay. Because they all come in different. So you always get one of the four shapes. It's never a randomly shaped chicken nugget. And the reasoning behind this? And... They're all, the, they're all the same thickness, so they all cook for the same time. time. Fascinating. So, yeah, get all different shapes. Wow. Yeah, it's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> like, it's, it's life-changing. I'm, I'm, I don't tend to have the nuggets when I... Um, <laughs> the nuggets. The nuggets. The nuggies <laughs> when I go to Mackey D's. Rarely, though, I go to Mackey D's. What's, what's wrong with the nuggets? Uh, no, nothing, but no, it's because it's Alan's... Mm, it's chicken head. <laughs> The chicken head story. Chicken head. I can imagine that'll put you off. Mm. And then once there was a story about somebody who, well, it wasn't a chicken nugget. It was a, okay. a, a chicken meal fillet meal. Chicken fillet. Okay. <laughs> Just keep saying chicken fillet. Burger, doing this. <laughs> chicken burger. Whatever they call it. Chicken. Yeah. Chicken burger thing. Yeah. And when they bit into it, there was like a huge, um, like pustule inside because it obviously hadn't been a very well chicken before it had been turned into a. Mm. Huh? Like a cyst. Right, okay. So you know, enjoy well, it's enjoy the chicken though, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was it was wasn't you don't you don't want to eat cyst. You don't <laughs> it's made eat... of the same stuff as the rest of the chicken. No, but it was like a it was like a boil. And then when they bit into it, all the boil inside came Would out. Would that not course. just be oil? No, it was it was and it, fat and stuff. It was a it was a it was a monkey chicken. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Feels a bit keepy now, aren't you? I just, yeah, I, I, I just, yeah. Mm, not nice. Not nice. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's move on from that story. Yeah. Then. Okay. Well, let's go over to the other side of the pond, to Pennsylvania. Oh. Okay. Um. So, have you, have you ever been to America? Mm. Yeah. Where did you go? Um. Hang on, I'm gonna burp. No, it's not coming yet. It's trapped. Um. I've been to wind you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, don't bang on your mic. Yeah, the gallery are now um, screaming. Yeah, um, I have been to New York a number of times. Okay. And I have been to San Francisco a number of times. Well, twice. That's, a, that's still a number. Yeah. It's a no, not a high number, but no. it's, still, it's yeah. a higher number than mine. Oh, you've never been? Never been to America. I'm oh. a bit concerned I wouldn't get through security. Why? You know how sometimes I, I get a bit starky? Oh, they don't appreciate that. They don't appreciate my, my kind of humour. So no. I'm actually going to take off your shoes. I've been on an eight-hour flight. You do not want me to take my shoes off, babe. No, they don't think that's funny. Yeah, it's like, do you want everyone to die of anthrax? There'd be guns, it'd be, yeah. Yes. Not good. Um, so, yes, I've been banned by many friends saying, just oh. don't go, Mike, just don't go. Not allowed. No. Um, but this South Williamsport resident, um, Rattini, posted a picture of her, of her, her evening meal, which caused a bit of an uproar. On social media, she found a whole chicken head in her. Oh, bucket. why have you done it? 
You know I don't like it. I'm not looking at the I'm not looking at the screen because I don't <laughs> okay. like it. Okay. Uh, but she went to sit down and take an order of chicken wings and we shot the screen. Oh, it's on the screen now and I can't, I can't. <laughs> so for the people at home, um, it's in the top. Topic. Yeah, I know where it is because yeah, I've seen it. I'm not looking at it. That's okay, don't look at it then. It's Trigger fine. warnings, people. If you don't want to see a deep fried chicken head, don't look at the screen now. So, yeah, for those at home, we've circled it in red. Just taken, make, I mean, it's quite obvious what it is. It's quite clear. Chicken's head. Um, not only a chicken's head, fried. <laughs> deep fried. Deep fried in batter. Yes. Um, well, she was sharing a deep fat, a pile of wings following a trip with an old school friend. So, it, was it a branded. Um, establishment. Um, it's it was just a, pe a local pizzeria. Oh, okay. Kind of place. She said that she understands that some people enjoy chicken's heads, uh, but for her, it's not. A, a what? Place. People eat fried chicken heads yeah, and feet and things. What is the matter with people? <laughs> it's full of brain. It's got goodness. a. It's got a <laughs> skull in it. It's got like. <laughs> you don't have to chew the bone. Well. <laughs> <laughs> There's no meat on a head. The brain's inside. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a suck, get the goodness out. No, it's disgusting. <laughs> it looks vile and okay. it is disgusting. And if you eat that, you deserve to die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Because there's uh, a beak and there's an... Oh, I can't, I can't cope with it. Do you want me to move on? Yeah, I, okay. I just can't. Okay. And if you can't cope with it either, you can always find us on social media at The Good TV. And that brings us to our story of the week. So you said about KFC. You said about McDonald's, sorry. Mm -hmm. Not really. Do you go to KFC often? No. No? No, not very often. So I'm a big fan of the gravy. Do you I'll... just get a, a tub of gravy and drink it? Gravy and mashed potato and a spoon. You're white trash, aren't you? <laughs> I am white trash. I would have an argument on my front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of... It's like you, outside of what an argument. Dragging <laughs> a mattress out the front and Set just on fire. there and... <laughs> In your TV. <laughs> yeah. Paddling pool with me feet in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yes. So, this is about a UK woman who went to KFC. Mm -hmm. Okay. And got a bucket of wings. If, she, if, <laughs> if there is, if, if she gets chicken head in a gravy, I'm, I'm going. Okay. She does not get a chicken head in a gravy. It's fine. She does, however, get a chicken head in a bucket of wings. <laughs> it's not... She's... What is... is she doesn't, does she? Oh, why are you why are you sharing <laughs> these stories? And what is the matter with people? What is the matter with food preparing people? So the reason why this happens is because as they're mechanically reclaiming the chickens and, and doing it, sometimes a bit will fall into the wrong bucket. So instead of going into oh the waste, my, get it off! I can't, I can't, I just can't bear it. And um, it doesn't even look happy either. <laughs> would you look happy? You've just had been decapitated. It would make me part. feel better if it looked happier. But I can't deal with it. Is it gone? Oh, it's gone. gone now. It's gone now. So they'll flash it up in a minute. No, they will. <laughs> if you just did it with a little smile on it, it'd be happier. Yeah, it's not good, but it. Oh my god! See this one? It's it's been battered as well and breadcrumbed. Does it so make it, it any better? <laughs> Still chicken. I'm not looking. I'm just going to close my eyes until the end of this okay. segment. Um. But yeah, so it, it was deep fried and battered. Did she eat it? What do you think? These people tend to have a nibble, don't they, and go, mm. So Gabrielle, um, she shared her whole ordeal by posting it on social media. Um, she basically said um, she liked a hot wing meal, put a hand in, went round, and Beaky McBeak face was there sort of thing. <laughs> it's vile. I'm loving this. It's it's literally the, it's literally hell. It, why would... Ugh. And then, because then what she'll be after is she'll do compy face. <laughs> she'll do compo face. Compy face, That's why the it. chicken wasn't happy. She was doing compo face. <laughs> it's like, holding I was it, deep fried. Sat in a living room with, with bad wallpaper, holding it going... Love life living in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and and then oh, my, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken said, we'll give you like a free... Bucket of wings. Bucket with of wings. <laughs> without a head in it. Ugh. That's not good. Yeah. Um, so basically... The, KFC have actually said, look, it, it's an accident, it can happen because it's a mechanical process. There's not a person there going, that's a head, that's a beak. It's well, that's reassuring, isn't it? <laughs> well, we could end up with whatever. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's, it's just one of the, that's just one of the... You eat here, this is a risk. <laughs> it's, not, it's a part of the chicken. It's not like they found a whale in there. No, but it's a head and you don't eat the heads. Well, you can eat the head. You, oh. People choose not to. 
<laughs> you don't you don't go up to the drive-thru and say, can I have a box of chicken wings, please? Can you put a few heads in as well, please? <laughs> mm, not many, just plats one or two. It's there again, isn't it? I know it is. Oh, it's there! Right, move on, because I, I can't cope with it. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to fan myself. <laughs> I don't want... I'm in a hot flush. I just... I just... I just... No, but that's that's all from the buzz this week. God for that. Festival of chickens. Fried chicken heads. <laughs> Stick around, because next we have Lee with the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for our weekly roundup of showbiz with Lee. I'm allowed to speak now. I have to say things. It's Dean that's saying shush. Dean's allowed to tell you to shush. Did you watch the film The Joker from a couple of years ago? No. With Joaquin Phoenix? No. Cause no. Of, no, because he's not, he's not Heath Ledger. No, and they all, everyone got like semis over it, didn't they? Because it, they, they was like, oh, this is an amazing film. And it, mm, I didn't. I don't like Joaquin Phoenix anyway. Oh, okay. The wrong one died. Three and ten. I'm going to say it. Just say it. <laughs> Wow. Um, the face then. Wow. Um, he's, he's like an intense actor, isn't he? He's like yeah. an actor. Anyway. Too serious for his own good. Well, apparently there's going to be a sequel to The Joker. It's called it's called Folie à deux, which I think means part two, I think. But Lady Gaga is going to be starring Lady in Gaga. it. Lady Gaga. Lady oh. Gaga. She is going to be portraying Harley Quinn. Now, this isn't a superhero film because they're not really... Superheroes in the, the, villain, in the villains, aren't they? So. Yeah, but they're not. They don't have powers or anything. It's not like does Batman. Batman's got money. Yeah, but all right, the Superman then. Um, so here, that's that's Joaquin on the left as the Joker. Because in the actual film, the Joker, it's kind of more a study of somebody's sort of like descent into mental health issues, issues and stuff. Um, and then he takes on this persona of. Um, of the Joker. Now, this isn't actually what she's going to let. It's like a fan art has kind of done uh. her up as the thing. So she has confirmed that she's going to be in it. Okay. Um, it'll come in 2024, October 2024. Stop it. What? Um, you, just, you just sniggered. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's a sequel to 2019's Joker. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, it's... Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, she's she, the, the thing that's controversial about it is, is that Joaquin is getting thirty million dollars to and play, she, and she's getting fifty, and she's getting half. She's or she's wow. like getting twenty million dollars. It's kind of like mm, there should be equality. Uh, I don't know whether it depends. No, she should be getting paid more because she right. has to work with like Joaquin Phoenix. You really don't like him, really do like you? Him. No. Wow, what has he done to you? Just. To just, is he one of those celebrities that you just have a... a you know you take an instant dislike yeah, And you don't know why, you just don't like them. Yeah. I'm it's like that with them. Jack Black. Can't stand him. But he's never done anything to offend me, I just don't like him. Yeah, it's one of them, I just... Mm. Like... Anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's Sean Bean we're getting from the... Um, is it because of those tea adverts for tea bags? Or, or is it the O2 advert? Oh, God. Yeah, whatever, he'll go, I can do whatever you want as long as it's from Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, <laughs> anyway, she's she's going to be in it. She's, she's, she's going into acting quite a lot, isn't she, Gaga? Quite a lot, yeah. 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 Um, she, so she did Star is Born in 2018. Massive um, accolades for that. End. What does I dive in? Huh? I was doing the lyrics for Oh, okay. I only ever watched it once, and I can't, and it wasn't really. I've not watched it. I just know the song. Oh, okay. Um, but then she was in last year's House of Gucci, which I have watched. That. It's awful. I loved that. It's it dreadful. was so bad. It it's was so bad. bad. It's good. It's dreadful. It was awful. I loved it. Yeah, because you... it had them um, Kylo Ren in it from um, Star Wars. Oh, okay. I don't know that. Don't know the, that. The, the guy that she killed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Ciao, Bella. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> That's not a name. It's Italian. Ciao, yeah, well, they're doing it or not. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> it, was very, it was very kind of like, they said to the actors, right, we want you to do Italian accents. And they were like, bobba da bee 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 It was literally... <laughs> um So, yeah. So, uh, possibly slightly better than... than 
House she, of Gucci. Sorry, she acted very well in that. You think? Yeah. It was like a she parody. Didn't laugh at all, all the way through. Yeah, she took it really very, well. very seriously. Yeah, that's good acting skills. Yeah. That'd have been well. I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, it was very much like that. Yeah. Uh, smoking fags all the time. Ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Gino, get me a gun. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Who was the one that was played it completely over the top and you're like going, is this for real? Is it's this Gaga. <laughs> no, the, the guy that. It was it Jared Leto who. You didn't recognise at all because he had loads of prosthetics and stuff on, and he was like, "Oh my god, what am I going to do?" Oh, the fat, the fat one that was, yes. that was trying to do everything. Yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Bizarre. <laughs> anyway, um, it, it is. It's, it's it'll hit oct cinemas in October 2024, exactly five years after the original Joker was released. Um, so if that is your, if that's your boat, get in it and have a trip. <laughs> Got away with you, that Row one. It. It? Yeah, got can. away from that one. Then. Mm, yeah. yeah. So, next bit of news: Kesha. Are you a Kesha fan? Don't stop. Wake up in the morning feeling like P Diddy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's had troubled times recently. Yes. Bless her. Yeah. But um, she's back, and I'm loving it. I've been to watch this whole series in 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 a day. It's cut. So she's got. Bad, a, isn't it? She's got her ghost hunting. Show, it's called it's it's Kesha Kesha and her celebrity friends go paranormal hunting. Um, um, it's based on well, look at you like that. It's based on a podcast that she did called Kesha, Kesha and the Creepies, which was the the that's the poster for the podcast. So she and other celebrity friends and paranormal experts mm -hmm. travel the US to explore paranormal hotspots. Um, so she kind of wheels in all like her famous friends to do it. It's comp it's total and utter tat. It's unbelievably like most haunted. Yeah, um, there is, there is, there is basically, you know. So there's people like um, comedian Whitney Cummings, Betty Who, um, Big Frida. So she's actually, you know, bringing on board quite a lot of the LGBTQI plus community. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a poster of the actual show, which is her kind of going Ooh. conjuring, conjuring Kesha. Kesha. Yeah, it makes me think someone's got her in a big pot. Could well could well be. So the Wait, basically, we, we she... again next Thursday. Good for you. Oh no, not Thursday. Bingo. I mean, th this is a picture of them going ghost hunting because that's all you need really is a, is a torch and just turn the lights two off. Two torches. Two torches. Turn the lights out. Um, so this is her with Whitney Cummins, and they go to to Tennessee's haunted Bloody Brushy, which is a closed penitentiary that enacted the worst of the worst. Oh. So yeah, that, so it says that she's put Kesha is pushed to her limit when she makes contact with a demonic force. She isn't. I've watched it. Derek Cora. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of Derek Cora. <laughs> she's very <Mary> love side. <laughs> she loves dick and sometimes a vagina. Because she does. Um, so basically, what she's saying is, is that when she goes on tour, when she's doing her music, she doesn't go and stay in hotels like, you know, the, the kind of like holiday inns and, you know, those kind of like chain places. She always goes and looks, finds the, the haunted place to stay and makes all her dancers and her band stay in the haunted place. Um, so she said, so, so in one place, they, stay, they stayed in a haunted whorehouse. Um, That's easy for you to say. Horror, 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 haunted horror house. Um, but she loves it. She loves it, she says, because it's like going on a road trip. You go on tour and you're with your really good friends and your entire crew and you go and look for, for ghosts, like like ghost prostitutes. Yeah. And yeah. It's good. It's if you can watch it, if you can find it. <laughs> if you can find if you can it. Find it. No, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where to watch no, it. No, it's on Discovery Plus, which you've got to have a subscription to. Right. Okay. Um, but it is. It's you got a lot of subscriptions to TV channels. I have a couple of the ones, and then I'll cancel them when I watch the thing that I want to watch. Because, right, okay. you know. Um, so, yeah, that's on, on, on uh, um, Discovery Plus. Discovery Plus. Well, you can also watch Trixie Mogtel as well if you want to watch that, which is quite good as well. Uh, no, you're not interested in that, are you? No, that's what it's called, isn't it? Uh, uh, oh, okay. Right, yeah. Last bit of showbiz news today. We're, go we're going from one end of the spectrum to the other. So we're, go we're going to talk about the, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Ooh. Do you find him attractive? I think, yeah. Climbing Do like you? a tree. Um, so this is a story about um, how he had responded to critics saying that he shouldn't play gay characters. Okay. So... Um, this picture, so there's this magazine in America called Out. The it's like its 25th anniversary, and the editor was kind of talking about his favorite cover stars. So he was talking about when they had The Rock on it. Oh. So 
he was told, The Rock was told, that if he played a gay character at the start of his career, it would ruin it. He would never do anything else. So he, he went from being the WWE wrestling dude to acting. Mm -hmm. So he he starred in um, a, a play, say, as a, an openly gay man. Now, I don't remember this. An openly gay man named Elliot in a film called... Um, BT. Elliot. <laughs> Oh, called the, called Be Cool, which was tw oh, 2005. Yeah. I don't remember. I think we've got a picture of the actual film poster, um, which can, yeah, I don't remember it at all. It's got John Travolta in it, Uma Thurman, The Rock. I don't really remember it. Um, so, yeah, he, he appeared in it, and um, basically he was advised that to stay clear of playing any characters that are gay, um, it ruined his career, landed him. So, and so in true rock fashion he said he remembers telling those influential figures to nicely take their hateful opinions and f off. Um, he continued i was like told back then by a few influential folk that playing a gay man would ruin my career i said hold my tequila and f off. nicely of course um and i don't think he's played gay characters since uh -huh. but i think for for a straight masculine actor mm kind of go play a gay character. Um, this is him in the role of the film, and then mm -hmm. this is what he looks like now, like a side of beef. Nom, 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 nom. You, you're in, you were into that, though, aren't you? I think it's a little I'm too much. I'm into pulses, really. Pul anything with a pulse. Very okay. much. Yeah. So, yeah, good for him. Equal opportunity slag. Equal opportunity slag. Okay, good, good for him. He, he, he's got his head screwed on. Well. Mm. And that's, that's the end of this week's Showbiz News. Always good to talk about Dwayne Johnson's head. But stick around because coming up, we've got our game of the week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week, we're going to play Ooza Kazoo. And this one is for the Simon to my Garfunkel, the wonderful Lee. So off you pop. <sighs> Watch that light. Game of the Week. So all he has to do is make, um, well, I'm going to say make a noise into a kazoo. Um, yeah. You ready Ready to give me some tunage? What? Be sleepy eye. Oh, we started? We started. Oh, God. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm miles away then. There wasn't the theme tune or anything. We'd already done it. Oh, We okay. do it while you stood up in the corner every week. Oh, yes. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. yes. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Um, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Great. Try to crack one out then? I'll do a tune. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. That's not the title, though, is it? Yes. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Want to know? Yeah. Got to let it show. I'm, I'm coming. coming out. Oh, I'm coming out. Yeah. Oh. Did you into in kadinkling fact? Did you know that Chain Reaction, written by the Bee Gees for Diana Ross, was about the orgasm? Not the, about, just not her the orgasm, orgasm, but uh, the orgasm one. in general. Just the orgasm. There's only been one ever. Yeah. It's all about, uh, it all builds up to an orgasm. Next one. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> Put a dunk on it. Eh? Put a dunk on it. No. It's not that one. It's an 80s song. 1980s or 1880s? 1980s. Bit of a funeral dirge. Um... <laughs> You are actually about the fact that I kind of like know one thing of the chorus and one line out of a See, verse. The problem is, I, 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 it instantly brought me back to my childhood, and this is not going to make it a lot of impact for a lot of people. But Geordie Racer, the theme tune, the late 80s educational film set about pigeon racing that was played into schools. No, it's a pop song, Mike. No idea. No idea. It's everybody wants to rule the world. 
by Tears for Rears. By who? <laughs> Tears for Rears? Mm-hmm. Tears for Rears. Tears for Fears. Oh, Fears. Tears for Fears. Okay. Um. All right. I hope this is wrong. Wannabe by the Spice Girls. No, but you're on the same track. Are you sure it wasn't Wannabe by the Spice Girls? No, it wasn't Wannabe by the Spice Girls. Is that what Girls? you see? That, not what you're thinking of. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, that one. Do you know what the title is of it? By the Spice Girls. Yes. I want you. Do you know what? I can't remember what it's called either. Um, I'm writing down on the card in front of you. Do, do. Friends. Oh. Ow. Um, <laughs> I don't know the name of it. It's not written down in front of me. It just I just was given a title of a group and um, you, you channel it. Say you'll be there. Say you'll be there. Yeah. Oh, say you'll be there. Yeah. Some more lyrics now. Okay. Okay. Right. Next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hard Gaze at Night. Yes. By the Beatles. Yes. The ruling who? The Stones, the who, the rolling Beatles. Um, Sorry, what did I just say? The the Hard Gaze Night. Yeah, and you said yes. I, I was just ignoring it, Mike. Ah. I was, it's best sometimes just not to enable not you. Not to rise to it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, right. <laughs> Next one. Millie Vanilli. No. You were living your life there. <laughs> I was just feeling it there. I was <laughs> feeling my full fantasy. Yeah, I don't really wish you went. Um, <laughs> the Right Stuff by Brothers. You've got the song right, but you've not got the name of the band right. Is it not Bros? No, it was New Kids on the Block. Uh, Nothing to do with Bros. Fool. Um, okay, right. We did quite well on that one. Quite well. Okay. That wasn't alive for all of the 80s. Just saying. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Pick the obscure bits of songs. <laughs> no. So have you just picked like the the one part of the chorus with the desk count in? Right, and struggled to hit the notes, butchered the song rather than just going for the normal version. I'm doing, I'm doing. That's the tune of it. I was think, I was doing it. Yeah, wait for the last version of the chorus. Oh, okay. Where, where she does desk counts and stuff. <laughs> you know what I want to do right now? What? Just slam that through your throat. <laughs> that's a bit aggressive. Yeah, but it's justified and ancient. Um, Britney Spears. Oops, I did it. This it time. was. If you knew, why don't you just say, Mike? Because I got it, but then realised that you, you were making it purposefully difficult for yourself. I wasn't. To hit notes that... I was thinking it. I see. I like can say, it's, there's no lyrics here. It's just the name of a song, mm -hmm. and I've just got to go with the one, just the part that I know. The difficult bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not it. Adam's um... family, Adam family theme tune. No, it's not. Adam's family star. No, no. no. <laughs> Yes! 
see. What were you going to, what were you singing originally? I don't know. I think I was trying, I was going, I was trying to do the beginning. Because do, 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 that, that bit, the beginning bit. I don't know any more of it. <laughs> Put your hands on your heart and tell. No, it was like it, it was like a no, no, like a no, a twenty thirteen. It was everywhere. Like a, no, 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 twenty thirteen. It was everywhere. It was from a film, twenty thirteen. And it was like played everywhere for forever and still is now. When Darling, reach out. Huh? The four tops. I'll be there. No. It's Happy by Pharrell Williams. That wasn't. Because I'm happy now. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Okay. We are the cheeky girls. No. No, gallery isn't if you think I'm sexy at all. Which is a foregone conclusion, anyway. But um, if you think my, if no, it's you not if you think I'm sexy. No, it's not that. If you think I'm sexy, you need help. It's. <laughs> Touch my bum by the cheek. No, I said no. It's not that. Life. We had the chicken girls. We. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I went to the bridge then. Take it to the bridge. No. Jump off it. No. I should be so lucky. <laughs> Jump me off a bridge. We should be so lucky. Um, But stick around because coming up next is Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to see what tinfoil can be made into this week as we go to Lee with Crafty Queens. We're not going to use tinfoil this week. I know that was the, one of the most popular episodes of Crafty Queens. It was the second most popular. What was second it? only to making a bowl out From of a, a bowl. bowl. Well, you know, I like to push the envelope of, um, sorry, I've just got a very itchy eyeball today. <laughs> That's because you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going to do something with Play-Doh. Ooh. Mmm. Um, we are going to, we are going to have a go at making um, a replica of each other. So you are going to try and make a re replica of me and I'm going to try, try, I can't speak, try and make a replica of you using Play-Doh. Only uh -huh. we are going to close our eyes. Okay. We are not going to look. Now, I know what you tend to do is you tend to wait till I've closed my eyes and then carry on. Mm hmm But what I would like you to just take your glasses off, Mike. Okay. Place them on the table. Um, and I have done the same. Uh-huh. So you have. So we're going to... So we're going to close our eyes and we're going to kind of... I'm going to go... Right, so we're going to start with the head, body, arms, legs. And you do have two wobbly eyes, googly eyes. Okay. Just to kind of help and when we have created them we will ask the gallery to say which they feel best represents the person okay okay so put your put your play-doh within reach of you it doesn't really colors are just generic colors not really bothered about yeah i've got, yeah. I've got one. Okay. so we'll, so close your eyes mm -hmm. gonna go for we're gonna make the head first okay so um just checking your eyes closed yes they are yeah Okay, close your eyes. Uh, make the head. Okay. You can make it however you want to make it. <laughs> so I'm going to make the head however I want to make the head. However you want to make the head. This, we, we, today we are, we are, we are, um, are channelling our inner 
hello video. Okay. From Lionel Rich T. Oh, right, okay, so not from Adele. No. Hello from the other side. No. So, because you know in the hello video, she's like the blind girl uh -huh. that kind of feels his face, yep. feels his face, and then makes a really hideous <laughs> satchel of him with a massive jaw. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going for the head. <laughs> it's all about feeling. Oh. Nothing more than feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. I do enjoy the smell of Play-Doh. <laughs> See, I always want to eat it. Well you can eat it. Well you can't, <laughs> but it doesn't do you any harm if you did eat it. Because now, I might need another cut. So I've got that. I oh, know that's white. That's me. Red. Give you a little mouth. Give me a little mouth. Okay. Oh, no. Your eyes fall. I think your eyes fall enough. Oh, good. Right. Okay. So, is, me... is, was this inspired by anything in particular, or...? Was this inspired by anything in particular? Yeah. Because not, normally you've got a little story that you saw it online, or...? No, it was, it was called Lee. You need to do two Crafty Queens this week, and... Um, I really didn't have the energy to think of two things, so I just did this. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Right, so have you done the head? I've done the head, yeah. Okay. Move on to the body. Ooh. I suppose this could be... Ooh. What were you thinking, then? I don't know what I've done with your head. I don't know which way around it is. I'm just going to stick it on top there. Have you ever enjoyed a blindfold session? <laughs> I, I, quite often, to be fair. Have you? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh. There was a thump, and I think your head's fallen off. Right. It um, feels attached. Have you have you have you attached your head to the body? I'm still trying to mould your body. At the oh, okay. Um, so once you've you've done your body, uh -huh. move on to the arms. I can't remember what colour I did your body. I'll oh, just get this colour. So yes, are you are you a fan of the of the whole blindfoldy? Yeah, yeah I'm loving it. Okay. Yeah, I was really engaging my other senses because I'm not able to see what I'm doing. Have you ever heard somebody go, oh, let's, let, oh, do you know what sex say? Let's do blindfold. And then they blindfold you. And then they do up the room. And then they leave. <laughs> no. No. They don't tend to leave. It's because you've locked the door, isn't it? And they exactly. Can't get out. <laughs> My mum raised no fool. Well, she did. One arm. Will we be doing legs as well? Yes. Just needed to make sure because I don't want to... You know, I'm running out of Play-Doh, I think. You're running out of Play-Doh? I've made it quite large from the feel of it. Or I could just be reusing your body to, to do something oh, okay. I'm not sure on anymore. I'm not sure. Because I can't see what I'm doing. Well, no, that's the whole point. Mm. I'm gonna, so once you've done your arms, you, you're relatively happy. I'm going to do you sat down, I think. Will my legs be in the air? You can, whatever. <laughs> no, well, my legs be in the air, that's wow. question, so... I'm kind of channeling a bit of an inner morph. Uh-huh. You know, from... Um, from morph? From Tony Hart's programme. Which, coincidentally, morph is still around and he has an Instagram account. And if you'd like to follow it, search for morph. Right. Yes, right. right. So I've got, I think I have got you that down. There's your eyes. Oh, you've fallen over. Have I? Oh, that's naughty of me. And your head's fallen off. <laughs> right, that's that. I think I might have mashed you. Oh, no. Which way did it go? It's my right. Oh yeah, there it is. Thank you. I think. Right, the guy was just telling me a piece had dropped off the side of the table. Oh no! They just give me directions. It's not an important it part. Do you? Do you? Uh, would you trust somebody to do the food thing? Like I don't say I don't trust people. The food thing? Yeah, I trust people to do the food thing. No, I wouldn't. I think I'm done. You think you're done? I think I'm. I'm pretty much done. Okay. So shall shall we open our eyes and okay? And... I'll open my eyes. Three, two, one. Or are you just gonna open them? I've just opened mine. Okay. Ah, uh, that's bright light. Oh. Let's have a, let's have a look. Hold hold your hold oh. us up to the to the oh. camera. That 
You never closed your eyes, you liar. I did close my eyes. You're a liar. Because that's quite good. <laughs> so, because it's quite good, I'm a liar. Yeah, but mine's anatomically correct. Well, thank you. It's like you're pulling a padge. So does your, so does my one of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks. Oh, your red's fallen off. So, it's the second nose that I've done that I've seen. Oh, the okay. There. And a, a, a little bit of blue has appeared there. It's as if you're having a quiet a cry as you're doing it. Oh, cry wank. It looks like that's what you're having, yeah. You yeah. look like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons, I'm sorry. Well, yours is, yours is, looks, I mean, I've, I've got the skin toad right down to an, to a perfect, um, yeah. So if you, yeah. you, if you at home are bored out of your minds and you've got a bit of Play-Doh, do this, because it's just really porn. entertaining. Just watch porn. Watch porn. Just watch porn. Can you make it, no. Yes. I was going <laughs> have you tried? <laughs> How are you going to? <laughs> you know what it says? If you've got the time. Anything can be a sex toy. Got the dotted line. Um, yes, I know. Nice. Yes, with a shirt. Reminds me of the um, episode of Friends where Joey had to play, it was going to be naked in a scene, but they wanted somebody that was uncircumcised. But he was circumcised. You don't remember that episode? I didn't watch Friends, I didn't like it. There was a whole kind of episode where him and Monica tried to create foreskin using things that were around the house. Yeah, you know, it's really good for, for making foreskin out of. Bologna. Foreskin. foreskin. Well, he didn't have it, so he had to make one. So she made it, she tried Play-Doh, it was too heavy, it fell off. We didn't see that. You didn't see it. You didn't see his like Belland on screen. Um, but um, she, I'm, I'm going. I'm going ahead with this story because I've got the time, Mike, and I can. Um, so, <laughs> in the end, they used luncheon meat and fashioned one out there. And then when he um, went to the to the, um, the the audition, and they said, "Blah blah blah, very good, Joey." But now, can you can you just pop your trousers down so we can see? Um, he did, and it fell off, and it made a noise like this. Oh, I haven't got it there. Hang on, it made a noise like that. Like it hit the floor, and that was that was funny. Anyway, if you can't get any peen, circumcised or uncircumcised, or any virgin, be a crafty queen. Enjoy that. Yes. What's the what is the actual official term for a very tight foreskin? While we're on the subject, okay. I don't know either. But there is a medical term. Oh, okay. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media on at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course, on YouTube and podcasts. Just <laughs> just so it's for chewing the cud. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.